Uh, so they went ahead and sent the transporter, the big semi truck and trailer, um, down early on Wednesday night. Uh, there was a big snowstorm coming into Charlotte area, so they wanted to get the semi down the road, get it parked in the garage area, um, give us, then give the team another day, all day Thursday, to finish up work on the car, and then uh, drive it down separately in a, in a you know, Ford Dually in, in a white little enclosed trailer, um, along with all the guys Thursday night. And that's what they did. They worked on the car all day Thursday, got it finished up, loaded it up in the little trailer, drove down to. Uh, the hotel last night they arrived about 11:30. Um, got checked in, went to bed, and 5:40 uh, a.m. they went out to warm the truck up, and it was gone. So, um, so video surveillance from the hotel shows it actually pulling out of the parking lot about 5:35. So, matter of minutes, uh, you know, we just the, the guy just missed watching it drive away. Yeah, this team is it's, it's a small team, um, Team Extreme, owned by John Cohen. They've been around the sport for a couple of years now, just kind of making races and here and there. Not, they haven't run a full schedule. Um, this year they were set out to run the full schedule. Um, you know, unlike the, some of the bigger teams with the huge budgets, they have you know 15, 20 cars sitting there ready to go. Uh, we have three or four cars at the shop, but they're not all ready to go by no means. We don't we don't have a backup car. We don't have the the luxury of having uh, another completed car. So really, the you know we bring one car to the track. You know, I have no idea what's what's going to happen. I hope um, whoever stole it realizes that, you know, this is a NASCAR Sprint Cup Series car. There's really not much they're going to be able to do with it. I don't think anything they're going to be able to do with it.